I'm at a friend of mine's house and he's showing me this boiler that he's making a steam boiler that's going to run off of a pellet stove. I find that very interesting and fascinating and he's an old co-worker so uh, I want to introduce you to my friend Lance. Hi everybody. Hey, I want to uh, correct easy jeezy. Uh, it's going to be operated off a pellet burner, not a stove. Just the burner portion of the stove. That's just nomenclature, but nevertheless. Uh, let's move over to my little creation here. And, uh, this is all under the auspices of Home Power Systems LLC. Here's the boiler. Let's go through the components. Everybody knows you need a bottom blow for a boiler. Uh, here's the bottom blow. You got to see where the water level is on a boiler. So I went with the brass uh, shut off. My little components over here will help me control the water level by turning the pump on when the water disappears from this point. And then when the water reappears at that point, I'll put in the delay of say two minutes before it turns back off so I can have a little bit of time so the pump just runs uh, not constant. I don't want to re oh, interrupt you, but could you use a different finger? Some of my viewers are very sensitive. I'm sorry, <laughs> I use the wrong finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. let's use the pointy finger. Okay. <laughs> and the uh, all thread here is too. So uh, here is the steam relief valve. I've got it set. This is going to be a 100 PSI boiler. So if I go to 100 pounds, this is going to let me know. So I don't kill myself and others. Now the feed water for the boiler enters the boiler through a, a double sided feed. So this is going to come around. I'll have the feed pump down here, the exhaust of the boiler comes here, you can see all the nice little wells that Kevin Doolittle gave for me. Over here we have the three quarter inch high pressure steam out. I have a pressure gauge, I have a temperature gauge, I have a remote sensor that tells me not only temperature but pressure off of uh, the electronics package. And that pretty much wraps up the boiler portion. All right, now why are you making this? What's the goal here? For those personnel who do not want to pay the high price of electricity these days because they're, they're actually pushing over 10 cents a watt now with my calculations and a shout out to uh, Greg down in Denver who helped me with some calculations on the boiler I can achieve about a nine cent a watt for your electricity so what this boiler will do is you buy my package which is the power pack you run it for three or four days depending on how much electricity your home uses you turn your meter backwards far enough so that the rest of the month you use that electricity you just made and you don't owe anything to the electric company. You still have to pay the service fee for being uh, connected to the power grid, but I will be able to make you pay a lot less for electricity. And I think we need to make a point that uh, Lance's shop and home is in a, a rural area. He doesn't have uh, city sewer and he's currently functioning on propane gas which is a uh, a big motivator it's not uh it's not a prepper thing it's not a rebellious thing it's an alternative because he's in a situation here where he is likely to be uh without power for a day or two and with so few people living in the area that he's at you're not going to be as high on the list for the service personnel to come run and and find the problem and get it corrected you may be without uh, we'll call it city power well, public power actually the uh, economics of everything people who have all electric homes typically pay three to four hundred dollars a month for their electricity now, if they want to pay a lot less and not burn a lot of wood and do things like that, they can just run my system for as long as it takes to eat up three or four hundred bucks. <clears throat> Pellets are still two hundred dollars a ton and have been for 
almost 10 years, over 10 years actually. Jacks, Home Depot, there are custom places where you can get bulk pellets for even cheaper. So that's actually the goal of home power systems is to help people who have all electric homes, businesses who have high electric overhead, uh, the new electric or uh, recreational pop shops have high electrical costs and they're going to market to them to bring their electrical costs down. So uh, if you use a lot of electricity in the business or in your home, the system could be for you. I think that is just unbelievably fantastic that it just, this is why America is great. This is why you, you just will never stop us, you'll never smash us down because this entrepreneurial thing that we have. Here's a fellow who's retired and he's developing something. He's already got a nice comfortable place here but he's got a mind that likes to be able to use his creativity. It's not about the almighty dollar. He's trying to build something that's going to work for himself, but he's documenting it as he goes so that give other people the opportunity to do the same thing that he's doing, make it affordable, get rid of the big guy, and this is a little guy who is you're going to see more of, I'm sure. I think this is going to catch on. I think we're right here at the critical time during the developmental stages, and I'm just really happy to be a part of this. And my role in this thing was just to come over and see a friend and see what he was up to. And he expressed some interest of uh, putting this, uh, creating a YouTube channel and putting this out there. So I want to give him a shout out. And I'm going to post a, a couple things. Uh, I'll probably edit this down and put some things on my channel. See what kind of interest I have on it from my viewers and maybe grow him a channel to go along with this little project here and uh, I just think it's great I have worked around boilers a lot of my life and as an operator not as a builder and designer and this is just really neat and I expect to uh, give you guys some updates as we go here anyhow that's what we're doing today. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out.